Um, I tell you what my first ah oh shit moment was, was I had to clear the garden because it was completely overgrown. I thought it'd be like a really quick thing because I bought the house in summer, thought get everything ripped out, we'll flatten it. But then as soon as I ripped up the crazy paving, there was a five foot sinkhole and all the pipes are corroded through, which is the main waste of the house. So that was my, oh shit, I've got to replace everything. And I hadn't accounted for it either. Biggest mistake I've made, oh my God, the kitchen. So like, I had a really limited amount of money to do the kitchen, so I tried to make good what I could, but it just needed a new kitchen. Um, planned this and designed this like beautiful blue kitchen, with like stained dark floors and an island and everything. And then when it went in, I was like, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> which is why I'm redoing the kitchen. Because nothing went to plan, I ran out of money, um, so kind of made do with it and now I'm trying to repurpose it. So all the kitchen cabinets are all great condition, remove the island, um, but yeah, design wise, even down to like the lighting, like the spider light I've got, it was 30 quid off eBay and I barely had 30 quid to buy it, but I bought it, it went up and I was like, that is horrific. And I've lived with it for four years. <laughs> so now it's gone, get the chop. Oh, biggest bargain, either dining table, which was a hundred pound, which I'm gonna, it's gonna be a DIY project, or these chairs. They are a Kofod Larson um, for G Plan vintage chair. I lusted after them for ages, and then I found six of them on eBay. I got them for 246 quid. Whereas a pair of them was going on with interior for about 500 pound. So, big bargain. Oh, intimidating part was, I think the first Christmas, just before Christmas actually, so the whole of the downstairs got ripped out. This ceiling had to come down because the lath was cracking and like kind of coming away where it was, like, it was leaking over years. So to walk down in the middle of winter to have brick walls, no ceiling, no kitchen, I kind of thought, what have I done? Like really what have I done? Like, how can I fix this? It's my first project. <laughs> so yeah, that was intimidating, massively. So best tip for first time DIYer is first of all, research, um, research everything, read blogs, watch YouTube tutorials, and ask people on Instagram who are great help anyway. So like, everyone doesn't mind a message. Um, but research before you do it. If you kind of go in all guns blazing, there's a good chance you're gonna fuck it up. Um, yeah, research and plan it. You'll need to plan what tools you're gonna need, what the cost is as well, because there's so many hidden costs of even things like PVA for walls you didn't take into account, this bag of plaster, this bag of this, it all kind of adds up. So research it, cost it, plan it. <laughs>